Hello everybody, welcome back to some more Scrap Mechanic Saturdays. Make sure you leave a like if you're enjoying the series and want to continue to see more Scrap Mechanic on the channel. What I want to build today is something that someone actually suggested on a video last week. It was the game Cranks and Goggles, which was like an old-timey racing game, and they thought it would be cool to try and build one of those cars in Scrap Mechanics. So that's what we're going to do today. I'm going to be looking at those like early 20th century racing cars. That was kind of the theme of the game. I have some references of the game and some pictures online, so we're going to try and build one live today. It's going to be a relatively decent sized car. It's not going to be like, like super big, but we do get to finally utilize uh, the driver's saddle, which is three wide, so it's a nice thin one, which will kind of uh, go well with this design. The kind of car I'm thinking of is the ones that have the really long front, and then they have the four wheels, and then they have like that long front of the engine, and then like very short back. So we're going to try and emulate that. Uh, since it does have a lot of curves, we're going to be using these blocks quite a bit to try and just get the cylindrical shape. It's not like, it's not really a cil cylinder, but that's like the closest thing I can uh, equate it to. And so there we go, that's the basic design there, and we're gonna do one more layer. Hopefully we'll still be able to see over it in first person, but we'll see there. Put that over, and then we'll just close off the top here. Close off the top, there you go. Why, why won't it let me? What the heck? That was weird, it wasn't letting me for a second. Interesting, okay. Uh, switch, switch, switch. It's always like the last possible one. You think it would be easier if I just, like, did shift Q, kind of go back, but never seem to remember. Right now, this is looking like Ray's speeder from uh, The Force Awakens. <laughs> the one she's driving around on Jakku. That's pretty funny. Okay, but I think it's looking decent so far. They do have a little bit in the back, so we're gonna add another layer back here. And some of the models I'm looking at, so the wheels did stick out quite a bit, but the, the front kind of went down more. So let's try, uh, I don't really wanna make it too much longer. Let's just shave off one layer here. We're gonna have it kind of go down. Okay, there we go. Actually, this might look good if we just uh, have it all come into a point here. Let's try that. Okay, there we go. We got that kind of figured out. This part looks a little weird, but I'm gonna use this to attach the wheels because they kind of, uh, this is what, uh, at least how they look in the images I'm referencing. They kind of just stuck out pretty far from the side. Uh, so we're probably gonna use pipes for this. Let's switch over. The short pipe and the curved pipe. And again, this will probably look a lot cooler once it's actually painted. It'll probably make a bit more sense and you guys will get a little bit more of a sense of what I'm building. You just realize these need to be able to turn. There we go, that should solve that problem. There and there. I feel like this always happens when I'm building something like this. The big wheels look too big and the little wheels look too little. Actually, the big wheels aren't bad. Uh, we'll probably just stick with the big wheels, though, since they are using the big ones, he's got to stick out a little bit more. Out, there you go, then attach the bearings. Big wheels, just so they can turn. I mean, in the, in the designs I'm looking at, they stuck out pretty far anyway, so it should be good. And then they pretty much just came out of that back. Uh, but I kind of just want that. No, we'll have them come out of here. I think that'll be good. Oh, there's two out, right? Yes, two. Come out of there. Bearing. Bearing. Big wheel. Big wheel. And now, alright, that's looking decent. I, f uh, I, th I think it might be too uh, too tall. Let's try taking off a layer and see how that looks. Um, yeah, I'm thinking that looks a little better. We do have to fix this though. Let's go ahead and tear that off. These, there. I wish we just had like a, uh, a triangle piece there that would fit. It would make it look a little nicer, but it's looking alright. Uh, I keep forgetting we do need a place for the engine. Can we fit an engine just in here? Because I believe this is where the engine was on these things. Oh, cool. It will fit in there. Uh, well, it makes sense because it's even and this thing's odd numbered. But honestly, the weight of the engine shouldn't be that much. So we should be good. Go ahead and hook it up there. Get those connected to those. All right. Got the steering hooked up. Got to remember we can ch uh, got to be able to adjust the power here. Well, let's do three. That should be good. Make sure the wheels are all going the right way. These ones are not. Let's fix those. And we go left. We go right. Those are going always the wrong way. There you go. Left and right. Okay. And forward we go. That's a little slow. Oh, we can kick up the power there. Come on. Let's go two more. Place that wood. There we go. All right. No suspension, but uh, it should be okay. Woo. Okay. The engine might be a little bit too powerful. We're kind of kicking off pretty fast here. 
I always forget to drive things in first person. Maybe because the things I always build inevitably end up flipping over. And the first person does not look good once you're flipped over. Yeah, it's doing alright. Alright. Oh, I want to do some detailing and paint it. Let's actually uh, take the engine down one more. And that should make it a little bit more controllable. Or we could speed it up by adding some more weight. Hmm. I could replace these things with like metal. Because that'll stop the, the kind of bouncing around. I don't know, maybe I'll experiment just trying to find the sweet spot. And let's do a sweet jump up here. Whee! There you go. I'm so used to playing BNG, just being able to pause. It is very back heavy, so the front is going to lift pretty fast. In my mind, these things are always like classic hot rod red. So we're going to we're gonna try that out. That's a little dark. Actually, it is in the shade. Let's see. That looks good. It looks a lot like our fire truck. Actually, that's looking good. I look a little pink. Let's go ahead and make the dark red. Now we could probably do a mix of both. We'll try out some different things. There we go. Got it all nice and red. Maybe a nice uh, white stripe down the middle. Oh yeah, it's looking good. Okay. Let's go all the way down. Around the back. Oh, that looks really cool. That's looking pretty sexy. Okay. Uh, let's see. Maybe black on the floor here. That looks pretty nice. Maybe black on the seat. I was trying to get back there when I accidentally painted that. <laughs> uh, I can't reach it. Let's try this. There we go. Okay, just gotta replace that block. That was not the block we used. There's the block we used. And we gotta change the color here. A red. Oh, dang it. I just painted that. Okay, I'm just finishing painting up here. And I think the wheels might be cool as white. I don't know, because they had the, the sort of uh, like white wall wheels back then. That was the popular design. We got the bearings sticking out here. It's kind of annoying. I don't think there's much I can do there. Let's try and add some more curves to this. Let's make it a little nicer. We don't really need a door. I'm pretty sure they didn't have doors. Like, because they, they didn't really need them. <laughs> they just kind of hopped in. I do kind of wish it was odd numbered going up, because then we could do another white stripe on the side. Uh, but I don't think that would look very good. Um, it's not, it's not horrible. Let's see, I don't know. Because it's just not even. Or it is an even number, so it doesn't look... Uh, it's not centered. Let's see, let's decide how this looks. Take a nice step back. I, I actually looks pretty good. I think we'll keep it like that. Ooh, forgot to paint this stuff down here. Uh, that sh middle one should be white, but the other one should be red, right? Oh, they just added these to this game, uh, to this game the, the windshields. Like, these cars didn't have windshields, I just want to see. Oh, uh, they're even numbered. That'd be, uh, that would actually be look pretty cool, uh, just to check these out, let's go and place that. This would be really cool to make a ship or something. That would actually have worked pretty well on our invisible aircraft. Maybe we'll try and add it to it, that'd be pretty sweet. Cormac just ran out of here growling, but look at that! It's working pretty cool, I like it! Let's see, I do want to try and add it because we just have the glass block, but I don't think that would look very good as a windshield. It's kind of like sitting across there. Eh, it's not horrible. It just kind of sticks out too much. Uh, what if we just took the slanted pieces? Eh. From here it doesn't look bad, but I don't know, I just don't like the dots from there. And we're going to try something. To help with the weight, we're actually going to tear this off here. We're going to put some metal in there. Fix this with wood. And then we're going to bump up the engine. If I could get to the engine. Around here. There you go. Bump it back up. And let's see. The problem is the nose kept raising, but this should, be, this should help quite a bit. Keep the nose down. Alright, it's still going up. See? <laughs> it's a bit of an issue, especially when you go uphill like that. We could try and lower it. Whoa, yep, there it goes. Alright, let's tinker with this some more. So I added even more metal in the front. And I think it helped. The, the nose is just going up like crazy like that. That is nuts. I added a whole other layer of metal blocks in there. Alright, well, let's try and add even more. Actually, I don't know if I can add even more. No, nope. well, I guess we'll just do like a uh, top layer here will be metal. <laughs> Let's see how that goes. I mean, it is like the heaviest material in the game, so you think it would help quite a bit. Okay, the nose isn't raising as much. There it goes again. That's so weird. Like, I know why it's doing that, but I just didn't know like the the weight would be that offset. I thought the metal would have helped a lot. See, like, watch this. We take this jump. Nose is gonna go up in the air. 
Actually, it's not bad. I think it's actually the rotation of the tires. I might be dumb, because uh, I just noticed that. <laughs> when I jump and I stop accelerating, it, the nose doesn't go up. So the, the rotation of the tires kind of does like a gyroscopic action. Like people actually make gyroscopes with them in this game. Oh, uh, check this out. So I'm going to stop accelerating. Oh yeah, okay, so that's the main issue there. It's it's partly weight, it's partly that. Well, let's go ahead and paint this the wrong color. Let's see, how's the red metal look? Honestly, we could have built the whole car out of metal. Hmm. And there's one more thing I want to try and add. Uh, something that I saw that a lot of these cars have, they kind of have uh, the engine parts sticking out of the side here. I don't know if it's like the pistons or anything, but I think it looks pretty neat. So I want to try... See, we could just do that. I kind of wanted them at an angle. But honestly, this might work. This might look cool. So it would be tough to try and make them actually at an angle and fit there. All right, that's looking. That actually looks pretty cool. Let's try like black. Oh yeah. And now we're cooking. All right, that looks pretty cool. I'm liking it. Do sweet jumps, wee! Alright guys, well that's going to be it for this episode of Scrap Mechanic. Be sure to leave a like if you did enjoy and want to see more in the future. Let me know what you thought about the design. Just a quick build this week, you know. Sometimes it's fun to just do these cool stylish builds instead of the overly complicated or derpy ones like I always end up doing. I'll see you guys next time. Bye.